Hello, hello. Happy Sunday, everyone. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Um, for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, my name is Kim Dent, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I love to teach um, people how to make greeting cards, and I also love to share my love of Stampin' Up! So um, thanks for tuning in. If you're popping in, please say hi. That way I know that you're with me tonight. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Valerie. Yay, we've got a lot. Hi, Sandy. I've heard. Hi, Miss Jill. There is a, a big football game going on. <laughs> Go KC. But yeah, <laughs> I am not a football fan. <laughs> but I do, I have friends that are big Kansas City Chief, uh, Kansas City Chief fans. So I know um, I had a couple of them say they were going to um, catch me on the replay. So hello, Miss Peggy. Hello, hello. Hi, Mary. Happy Sunday to you. Let me see. I'm going to sync my laptop because I have so much to share with you tonight. I've got a bunch of cards. Hello, Miss Mary. How are you? Just sliding on in. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Okay, I'm gonna sync my laptop and then we are gonna get started really quick. So, hi, Miss Lynn. Let's see if I'm, I'm all synced. Yay, oh, it's working. I always hold my breath, so hold on one second. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. Okay. Hello, Chris. Good to have you with us. Hello, Mom. I have so much to share. So yesterday, uh, for the girls on my team, yesterday we had at Higher Grounds, we had a our Zions Fellowship Hall. We had um, an after holiday holiday party. And our, our meetings are once a month. They're always on the fourth Sunday of the month. But yesterday was a special, uh, special team meeting because we had a delicious, oh my goodness, brunch that everybody from the team brought something. And oh, so good, so good, such good food and good friends. And we um, swapped cards. We made some uh, Valentine cards. We played bingo. Um, we laughed a lot. So um, the the swap the cards that we swap and by swapping what that means is think of um, Pokemon cards. Um, let, when I don't know, do they swap Pokemon cards? <laughs> Kyle was kind of out. My kids were kind of out of that. Too old for that. Or baseball cards. Think baseball cards. Um, when kids swap baseball cards. That idea is kind of the whole idea of when we swap, um, we have a theme, and this month's theme was the mini catalog, January through June mini catalog, our celebration. And so uh, the girls sign up to participate in the swap, and then um, we swap at the next month's meeting. So next month, it's spring cards. So this month, I am so excited to share with you the cards that we made, or we swapped, that I received. And I'm also gonna share with you one of the cards that my swap card also um, made with the adorable, awesome Otters card. So two cards tonight, but before I get started, I wanna remind all of you that, oh, and I think I didn't do this, hold on. I see that I didn't put my camera up. I don't know what I, oh, hold on girls. Oh my goodness. What in the world went on? <gasps> Hello, hold on everybody. I'm gonna get there. Something weird is going on. <laughs> oh, I just hit a wrong button. There we go. Oh. It's back, it's back. I was just gonna flip it so that you could read the words and I don't know what I did. Oh, I need an assistant. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna try to, oh, it worked, I flipped it, okay. I have a way to mirror the camera so that when I hold up things like this, you can read them, so. Ah, 
Um, <laughs> keeping it real, guys. Oh my goodness. Here we go. So if you place a $75 order with me during the month of January, so you have till January 31st, if you do that, first of all, you're going to get, for spending $50, you're going to get an item out of here. For $75, just through me, it's my own special, um, that you're going to get a pack of iridescent rhinestones, which I love. Oh my goodness. So iridescent rhinestone basic jewels are just a smidge more sparkly, I think, than our regular uh, dots or um, not a spark. Thank you, Peggy. I am going to breathe. <laughs> um, they're, they have a little iridescent look to them and they're so beautiful. So um, spend $75 and you'll get this from me. Spend $100 and you'll get to pick another level of item out of the celebration catalog. You spend $300 or you collect $300 in orders, you get this set, Calming Camellia, for free. And if you were watching last week, we made this oh, pretty card. Also, this is gonna be one of my cards uh, for the February stamp class. Um, if you're in the area, our stamp classes in February are going to be February 18th and 19th. This will be one of the cards that you make. So I made it last week on the Facebook Live and I know a lot of you loved it. So I appreciate all your um, sweet comments. Hi, Cheryl. Thank you, Valerie. Okay, I am going to, I got the commercials out of the way. I am going to uh, flip my camera down. Hi, Kelly. Oh, yay, you're going to make that card, Valerie, in February. Hi, Carol. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, hold on just one second. I'm going to slowly <laughs> flip my camera around uh, and get it in the right position so you can see me stamping. Or first, you're going to see, uh, see me show some beautiful cards. Uh oh, uh oh, it's it's backwards. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Sorry, girls. It's one of those nights. See if that worked. You all have so much patience with me. I greatly appreciate it. Oh, what what we do? What we do? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Valerie. Okay, first I'm going to show you some beautiful cards. I'm so proud of my girls. Um, and I hope if you're inspired by any of these cards, um, please give me a shout. If you'd like to know more information about the cards that I'm about to show you. So the first one, oh my goodness, you want to see some, some Stampin' Magic. This is done, this card was made by my friend Vicki Todd. And watch this, so this is basic black card stock. This is made with the bundle, it's called Grassy Grove. It's on page 47 of the January through June mini catalog. Do you wanna see this beautiful? This is DSP. Oh, how gorgeous is this? And I am, as much as I love flower stamp sets, you know, I don't typically, am, I'm not typically drawn to like the nature stamp sets, but I am getting this because I just think this is so beautiful. Thank you for the hearts. I hope, I don't know if Vicki's watching, she usually catches me on the replay. So I hope she sees, give her some hearts girls because she worked hard on this. Isn't it gorgeous? And the DSP makes it. So that's from Vicki Todd, Grassy Grove. All right, this is from my sweet friend, Brenda Johnson, and she is tuning in tonight. So Brenda, she used, um, this is from the stamp set Rainbow, Rainbow of Happiness. It's a bundle. I just got it, but I haven't played with it yet. And then the DSP is Sunshine and Rainbows. And I think this is from the Tulip set. Look how cute. Oh, Vicki. Thanks, thank you, Vicki. Oh, I'm glad you saw all the hearts because that card is so beautiful. Now let's give Brenda some hearts because 
This card is so stinking sweet, and I can't wait to play. I've got the DSP ready. The DSP is from Celebration, and then the bundle is from the January through June catalog. And yes, thank you to our wonderful demonstrator friend, Terry Gaines, for that beautiful uh, Grassy Grove card. So this is Brenda's. So sweet. All right, this is, she's tuning in tonight. This is Lynn Zerby. Hi, Miss Gail. This is one of the cards. This is a card we're going to make tonight, girls. Isn't this beautiful? So this is made with Daffodil Afternoon DSP. It's uh, Spend 50 and you get it for free. It's on page four. And then it's the Daffodil, Daffodil Daydream Bundle in the mini catalog, page 37. And look at this. Dun, da, da, da. Now this does remind me, I don't know, this sounds silly, like a horse's stall. You know, like the door that we went to Kentucky last fall, was it, for our anniversary. And um, we got to visit a beautiful Clyde, uh, not Clydesdale, a regular horse farm. Um, and it was called Claiborne. And this is like how the horse's stalls, I think, open up. So, Daffodil Daydream, and I, this is so quick and easy, you're not going to believe. If you love floral, that look out, there's just a little bit of stamping. It's all die cut. Um, I love this, so we're going to make this one today. This one is from my friend Lisa Pepper, and this is, she used Seize the Day. So, for our, oh, Barn Door, Barn Door, thanks, Lynn. Um, barn, uh, Lynn, <laughs> whoop. Lisa Pepper made this card. It's called Seize the Day. It's in the mini catalog, page 38. Her uh, celebration item is, look at, Simply Marvelous. That's the background on there and that cute little fish. So if you love ocean scenes or fish, Vicki and I were just talking. Fis Vicki Todd, she's drawn to fish stamps. So uh, there's her little fishy right there. I don't know what kind it is. Maybe a little blowfish. All right, this is from Pam Watson. And look at this fancy fold. It's got a belly band. She said it was the first time she made a belly band card. This is done with Daffodil Afternoon DSP, same as Lynn's. And the words, just a card to say, you're amazing. This is from uh, the Celebration Stamp Set Special Moments. And then look at this. She loves the fancy, wait, this way. She loves the fancy, oh wait, I hit it upside down. Sorry, Pam. Where would I be without a friend like you? Look at that. I'm gonna have to copy this. Hi, Rochelle, thanks for tuning in. Look at how sweet this card is. So that's from my friend, Pam Watson. Thank you for the hearts. And then um, Celine Gearling, she is not on Facebook, but this is from the stamp set Friendly Hello. This is from Celebration, page 12, and another fancy fold. So this is one of those, I did a card, that pop-up card a couple weeks ago with the bird and the DSP. So if you order $100, you get the stamp set plus the DSP. Hope you have the best birthday. And then, last but not least this one is from Valerie and she's watching and this is from Crane of Fortune and uh, we talked about this we missed you Valerie at the meeting yesterday we I am not typically drawn to this style of stamp but I've got to have it because of your card so isn't this beautiful so that's a pretty bundle and then much luck and good fortune is from that stamp set so thank you. Thanks, everyone. And girls, I hope you enjoyed looking at my team swap as much as I do. It's one of the fun things that we do at our meetings. We share ideas and we swap cards. So uh, that it, it's just a great way to uh, get together with stampers who love stamping up and stamping as much as um, you do. So if you're interested in joining my team during celebration, you get 90, you get to choose 90, uh, sorry, $125 worth of product for $99 plus two, count them two, you get to pick two stamp sets of your choice out of there. And that goes through February 28th. So if you're interested or you have questions, give me a shout. All right. My card 
for the swap. Look at this one. <laughs> Guess who loves you? And do you see his little banner right here? So, and this is also, I, we couldn't remember what to call this card. See, it's got, it's got, a, uh, it's a regular card, but it's got two inches cut off of it right there. But isn't that fun? So, this is the first card we're going to make tonight. And I'm going to pull out my kit. So, you're going to need a piece of four and a quarter by 11 real red cardstock. Um, you're going to need a piece of four by five and one fourth. That's for your inside. This little two by two and a half piece, this could actually just be a scrap. This is what we are gonna cut our little adorable hearts out with that. Uh, the next piece is one fourth by four, and that goes on the inside of the card. And then your DSP, um, this is from Sweet Talk from the, the January through June mini catalog, three and one fourth by four. Oh, thanks, who just said that? I'm, I don't, I missed that comment. Somebody just said they are so glad that they joined. Valerie, oh, thank you, Valerie. I'm so glad you joined too. This is for the inside, two and a half by four inches. And then this piece is two and three fourths by four, and that's what I use to cut out this uh, piece that he has stamped on. And this is done with the die. Oh, I'll pull those out. This is from Color and Contour. Oh my goodness, I use these so much. And then this is our the heart die, and there's a couple of them that cut out these little bitty hearts. This is from the Sweet Tart, Sweet, I can't talk tonight, Sweet Talk bundle. So there's your little hearts that he's holding. So this is color and contour, this is from Sweet Talk. All right, um, the first thing that I wanna show you that I did to make that fancy fold I'm gonna bring in my cutter. This is actually my old cutter, um, but it's my standby. I use this for a long time and it's it's still good. I prefer my um, new cutter, but I'm getting a new one. I'm not sure what I have misplaced my, my, my old new cutter. So isn't that crazy? I have no idea where it's at, but anyway, a new one is on its way, thank goodness. So it's just a le when you're cutting as much as I cut for the classes, I just prefer the new cutter that's in the catalog, the new trimmer that's in the catalog. So, but for tonight, we've got this four and a fourth by 11. We're gonna put it in at five and a half. Let's scoot this out of the way. So I'm gonna move it up. Here's my ruler on the side. I'm moving it up to five and a half and I'm gonna score it. And then, there's the five and a half. I'm gonna put it in again. And I, at the two inch mark, I'm just gonna cut off this piece and put this, that's a nice size piece. So set that to the side. You could cut out a lot of little Valentine hearts with that. So set this cutter out of the way and bring in my bone folder and give it a nice crease. Nice, so it lays down flat. All right, now we're gonna start to assemble. Oh, before I do though, I'm gonna show you. So there's the DSP, which I showed last week. Love it. So cute. The, it, come, it is actually 12 by 12, but I've cut it down to six by six so that you all can um, see how cute it is in the camera. Oh, here's one more piece. Oh, and actually the piece, this piece right here that has the stripes, I said this last week, I have used up all of it. All I have is little bitty pieces, so I didn't even have a six by six piece left. Um, but anyway, th this, Vicki and I, we were talking about the stripes, how cute 
the, the Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape Stripes are. So I'm going to set that to the side. This is in the January through June mini catalog. So first three and one fourth by four. Ugh. Roll up my sleeves, girls. And center that on that top layer. And then I'm going to pull in... This is my inside, four by five and one fourth. And actually, before I glue it down, I'm going to stamp on it because that's just one of the, whether you're an old stamper or a, an advanced stamper, I just highly recommend that you never glue anything down until you've stamped on it and it looks exactly like you want it to. So this Happy Valentine's Day is from Sweet Talk, the same uh, stamp set that the coordinating uh, heart bundle or heart dies are from. So Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, oh, I see it. I'm gonna close it up just because you know what happens when you don't close it up. And okay, the next piece is this two and a half by four inch piece gonna go down on the bottom and then this little piece right here this 1 4th by 4 inch piece it's just gonna lay right on top of it it kind of gives it a more um, finished look and who doesn't have a bunch of scraps laying around like that so that's a great way to use them up Okay, this is ready for the inside. Ooh, get that and going in the direct, right direction. All right. So this piece, the two and three fourths by four, that's what I cut. I use the die to cut out this, this sweet little piece right here. So we're going to um, bring in the stamp set and the stamp set is from Celebration, so it's called Awesome Otters, and I think it's adorable. <laughs> I just love it. So this is the little guy that we're going to use, and because I, I think I used on the waterfall card, that's where you saw me use it the first time. Isn't he sweet? Okay, we're gonna bring in the Memento Black. Thanks, Shirley. I think he's cute too. Oh my goodness. All right. Gonna ink him up. Get that cardstock straight. Sometimes that, uh, you know, when I first started stamping, I say this all the time, I would just like not pay attention to, you know, putting my cardstock down straight or I didn't use grid paper. And then I was always frustrated when the image would be crooked. But through time, you know, if you lay your cardstock, what you're gonna stamp on, lay it straight and then stamp like this. Um, has a better chance of coming out straight. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna use is Banner Year. And my friend, Marianne Wilhite, she was the one who really sold me on this stamp set. Um, if you love little, little stamps, little images, if you love stamping on the inside of your cards or on the envelopes or like this, I was looking around Thanksgiving this adorable happy, we don't have a lot of stamps that say Happy Thanksgiving. So this is one that has it. it. This is in the annual catalog. It has this adorable little love note and sweet little heart along with a bunch of images that coordinate with these words. And um, the one that I'm using on my little otter card, my otter valentine is Guess Who Loves You. So we're gonna get real red ink back out. 
Hi, Terry. Oh, who said they use the... It's scrolling so fast, I can't see. Somebody said they use the Otter card on a... Sandy did, on a thank you card. Okay, this is a photopolymer stamp. So I've got my Pierce mat ready, and I've got my real red ink. I'm going to pull this a little closer to me. Doesn't he look like he's saying, guess who loves you? <laughs> that was my best outer voice. <laughs> guess who loves you? <laughs> oh, that looks good. Nice and bright. And then, I forgot to say, here's... Here's the stamp set. I want you all to see the sweet conversation. And then there's where Happy Valentine's Day came from. So, um, and it, ha do I have the dies? Yeah. Tons of, tons of heart-shaped dies that you can use. All different sizes that coordinate with this or that can be used independently. Um, I'm going to really quickly, I'm using crumb cake, really quickly color him. I'm gonna, you're just gonna see his belly. I'm gonna use light crumb, crumb cake. Not a lot of fanciness, especially like, I love the color, but, um, and we just, a girl's Stampin' Up! has just come out with new, we're, I think they're calling them flesh tone um, blends. So we've got new colors out there that are available with a brand new bundle that's available. If you'd like more information about that, contact me and I'll send you the flyer. I have the new blends, but I don't have the new bundle. All right, this is dark crumb cake and I'm just gonna be really careful like around his ears, the little skinny tiny parts, of his little hands. Because um, I want you to, I hope, I wonder if you all know this, al the alcohol markers they do bleed, so you don't want to ever go like right up on the line. It will spread. So I've got I've got my little this, these are brand new crumb cake markers, and I'm just going right next to the um, the black stamp line. And I can always go back. So if you make a bunch, if you're making a bunch for your friends or your grandkids, doesn't always have to be, you know, where you're using multiple colors and layering the colors. It's fun just to use the alcohol um, Stampin' Blends to color in. It just, it's quick and it's easy. And I'm just using two tones here. Hello, Barb. Barb Shelton and Mary Duncan and I go back how long? At least tw like 20 years. We go way back. Way back in the day when we were just getting, when we, Barb and I I think signed up with Stampin' Up! just like a week or two apart. So thanks for tuning in. Oh, Sandy. Yeah, shading can be tricky, and I used to kind of stress about it, but not anymore. I just have fun with it, so just have fun with it. Okay, I'm using Dark Flurry Flamingo. Oh, maybe I use Light Flurry. Oh, he's got a really pink nose. <laughs> I think I must have used the light. Oh, he looks like he's got a little cold, maybe. <laughs> All right, I'm going to set my Pierce mat to the side, and I'm going to bring in... Um, my little hearts. So the fun part about that die girls is, I think you can see it here. It cuts out. Can you see that? It cuts out this sweet little image, which we used on a, the pocket card last week. Um, but then these sweet little hearts fall out of it. So it's like a two for one deal. All right, I am gonna take, let's see, how did I do this before? Oh, I know, I got my mini dimensionals. Love the mini dimensionals, especially when you've got little images. 
So watch this. This is our linen thread. This is about um, two inches. I don't use this very often, but I had this idea in my mind with this little otter. And I thought this linen thread will work great. You get like 15 yards for $5 and it's in the annual catalog. So I'm gonna take three mini dimensionals and one is gonna go on his chest, we'll call that right there. And then these two, I kind of put, I positioned that I wanted the, you know, I wanted it to look like he was holding the edge of this little banner. So flip that up. Oh, and I got to trim it, I see. So these two mini dimensionals I have like in his armpits. <laughs> and then I'm just going to take my paper snips and snip it. And that one, that one looks sweet, like it's right in his hand. Set this out of the way, and I'm gonna peel off the backing. Of these minis. And I don't have my take your pick, I have my, I think I have my take your pick tool in the supply bag that I took yesterday and I didn't bring it back out today, so. Just be grabbing these. Look how stinking cute. <laughs> Making the little guy hold this. Oh, thanks, Sandy. All right. Oh, the next thing. One more thing. Oh, did I forget to? I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, my goodness. Well, okay. I had, when, but when I was making these cards before, I realized if I laid it on like this and glued it down, this bugged me. You can see, you can see that. So hold on, let me bring back my cutter. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna take it out of this piece right here. I think I needed, I know I cut it, I must have. That's what happens, girls. Do y'all like when you're stamping and you're in a in the zone? It just things disappear. So two and five eighths. That, oh, thanks, Joe. Does that happen to anybody else? Are you a messy stamper or a organized clean stamper? I am definitely guess which one. Messy. <laughs> I'm proud. <laughs> All right, so this was this piece was two and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and I just did that. It looks cute; it makes it pop. But I didn't want that, um, you know, the alcohol, the that what bled through to show. So here we go. A little extra stamp and seal plus on the top of that, and. <laughs> oh, messy all the way. Thanks, Gail. Thank you, Kathy. We could be in a club. So, oh, and then the last thing we talked about last week, always, oh, and this was from Valerie. Stamp on your envelopes. Don't forget to stamp on your envelopes. <laughs> okay, let me clear out some of this even though when I'm stamping, this all stays out like this. It doesn't, I'm like, when I get in the zone, I do eventually have to clean it up, but it takes me. <laughs> and the, so that, therefore, that's where like you're cutting and you're like, where did that go? I know it's here. All right. Anybody else? Oh, thank you, Kelly. Thank you. Valerie, that surprises me about you. I bet I would have pegged you for a, a very neat stamper. All right. So you can be in the club too. All right. Um, you saw the card that I held up from my friend, Lynn Zerby. She used, I just changed it a smidge. 
So there's Lynn's. This is a stamp set. Lynn, what is the name of this stamp set? It's brand new. It's in the, you'll have to help me out there if anybody knows the name of it. This, uh, this one, this is from Daffodil, Day, uh, let's see, Daffodil Daydream is a celebration paper. And then um, Daffodil, what did I call it? Daff These are the Daffodil dies. The stamp set is Special Moments. So this is, if you spend 100, you get this for uh, free. And this has 21 stamps. I love word stamps. The one that we're using is Thinking of You. But oh, where would I be without a friend? I think I'm gonna do that on the inside. Thinking of you and then where would I be without a friend like you? Um, that'll probably go on my inside. So this one, I also, let's see, I'm going to pull in my kit. And this one I'm going to teach you something new with. Oh my goodness, my parts are already falling out. <laughs> my parts are falling out. Okay, let me get this out of the way. I've got too much and a little screen. Okay, so you start, um, you start out with... This is a piece of, it was originally five and a half by eight and a half. I'm gonna walk you through it. Actually, I'm gonna walk you through it. Oh, thanks for checking though, Lynn. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna walk you how to, out how to make it. So we're calling this the barn door. It's five and a half by eight and a half. You scored it four and one fourth, and you flip it at three inches cut it at three inches down to the four and fourth score line. Flip again, I'll, I'll get through it. I'll show you, because I'm gonna do it twice for you. So, but this is a thick, very vanilla, all right? And then a piece for the inside, three and three fourths by five. Thank you, Lynn, happy and heartfelt. Four by five and one fourth, that goes on the inside as well, like that. And then um, the daffodil um, afternoon. This is th two and three fourths by four. And there's the flip side. And I'll show you, I've got some six by six swatches of that. You need three of these. They're uh, one inch by five and a half. That's for your stems and your leaves. You need one piece of one inch by three inches, and this is what we stamped and I cut out with the die. Um, and then this is, this is Flurry Flamingo, two and one fourth by four. And then I'm almost there, girls. You need three of these are uh, petal pink, two by twos, three of those. Oops and then three very vanilla two by twos. <laughs> and I'd be happy, there are so many pieces to this, I'd be happy if somebody wants measurements, just you can either rewatch re the video or you can also contact me and I'd be happy to give you these measurements. So that's the kit. Um, and let me see, let me pull in. I actually want to pull this out of the way because so I'm going to walk you through it. Trust me, if I can figure out how to make this. Now, remember, I had Lynn's sample um, to help me. So all I had to do was copy. But I also wanted to be able to teach it to you all. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. Me, the, the girl that's horrible with numbers. So... And it's easy and it's fun. It's always fun to do a card where you're, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just a little, there's a little bit more pop to it than just the regular, um, either open from the side or open from the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna cut, this is an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, thick, very vanilla. Um, here's five and a half. We're going to cut it in half so we can make two cards out of this. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to score it. So on this trimmer, 
this uh, lighter color is the, the scoring blade. And I'm gonna move it up to four and one fourth, just like I would a regular card, okay? Give it a score. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna rotate it. So I'm, I've got the short edge on this side, I think is the correct way to do it. And I'm gonna put it on the three inch line. Oh, and you gotta see, you gotta be able to see this, so. <laughs> Hold on one sec. Okay, up here at the top, I've got, so my paper is positioned at the three inch mark and I'm gonna use my cutting blade now and I'm gonna cut from the edge of the cardstock up here. Uh, I'm trying to make sure it's in the camera. Goodness, girls. Down, I'm gonna cut from the edge of the cardstock down to the score line, which is four and a fourth. And this has a little pointer thing on it. So it's kind of like my guide to tell me, okay, stop. Let's see if I got it. Oh, a little more. There we go. So I've got it that all the way, that cut that at the three inch line is all the way to the middle of the cardstock. Now I'm gonna rotate it again and I'm gonna put it up to four. Here's my ruler, I'm looking at the side here, four and one fourth. And I'm gonna take the cutter and I'm gonna have my cutting blade down at the bottom. Oh wait, let's see, is that right? Four and a quarter. Oh yeah, that's right. It's at the four and a quarter mark, and I'm gonna move it from the bottom, from this edge of the cardstock, up to the two and a half inch mark. And you can kind of on this one, you can feel it. And so this pulls away, and we're gonna use this piece. I can pull this one out. Ta-da! Get my little bone folder. Put a nice little crease. Okay, I'm gonna do it again just because I just, I wanna make sure you all understand and it's quick and easy. So here's my second piece of five and a half by eight and a half. I'm gonna put it in at four. I'm gonna use my ruler on this side closest to me. This is just how I prefer to hold my, position my trimmer. And I'm gonna move it up to four and one fourth and I'm gonna score it. Give it a good score. Okay, then I'm gonna rotate it around like this. Let me pull this down a little bit. And at the three inch mark, which is down here, I'm watching my ruler down here, I'm gonna go from the edge of the cardstock, the far end, and pull it pull that cutting blade all the way down to the score line, which is at four and one four. Oop, a little more, a little more. <laughs> and then I'm gonna ro pick it up and rotate it again. And then I'm pulling my blade down on the bottom. So it's on this side with the ruler and it's at the four and one fourth line. And I'm gonna pull it from the edge of the cardstock all the way up to the two and a half inch mark. There you go, this piece we'll use as a layer. And then this piece uh, gets my foam folder. And there you go. Ta-da! Thank you, Sandy. I, I am not good, especially when it comes to numbers, but I just thought, I. I think I can do it. I think I can explain this to you all. So watch what happens next, quick and easy. Well, after you get the, so we're gonna, we're gonna take, this is this uh, the DSP two and three fourths by four. And I'm gonna show you a DSP. Put a little stamp and seal on it. Sweet, this is flirty flamingo and I believe pale papaya maybe. It's layered on there. Then that piece that we just cut off of the card, the card base, we're gonna use that. It gets a piece of flirty flamingo, two and one fourth by four. Let's 
center that and we're gonna take let's see my pieces I've got them here okay so I cut out the pieces ahead of time so the dot oh wait let me show you the die set So here's the stamp set, which we're not using today. We're just using the dies, but Daffodil Dream. Beautiful daffodils, this gorgeous border. Happy Mother's Day, Easter blessings, a butterfly, and then some speckles. Watch the die set, 24 pieces. And I've got, If um, some of you have asked me before, these are from, my magnetic sheets are from Stampin' Storage. And if you would like me to send you a link, um, I, this is what I used. It's helped me stay so, it, I, I have trouble being organized, but these have helped me because I put the dies in with the stamp set. Some people, um, and then I don't use, you've seen the, um, you've seen me, I, I don't throw away the plastic envelopes that the dies, our dies, dies actually come in. I keep them and use those, like you'll see me say, oh, let me pull out my kit. So I don't throw them away. Um, but I like to keep my dies with my stamp set. So the dies that we're using today, and there's here, these are the dies we're using today. This is the stem and then the leaves. This is the outer edge of the daffodil. This is the um, detail piece. And then there's, I, I don't know the parts of the flower. <laughs> yeah, once you do one, it is so easy to do. This is the very vanilla. And then these two are in flirty flamingo. But watch this. So I thought this was brilliant. You could have your stem going. Here's one direction. You could, if you want your stems, like if you want, if you want daffodils to go in either direction or like mine, I wanted to follow what di Lynn did. And so hers kind of uh, went to the right. So this was the die that I used because when you cut it out, it bends this way. But look, there's two of these and then your leaves. And then this, these pieces make, uh, this one, in, let's see, how does it go? There you can see there's a second one of those. And then the detail. I have not figured out. Does anybody know what this one does? <laughs> these, I think, are detail for your leaves or your stems. Oh, and this makes a bud. And then even more. Look, girls. This is this cuts out the images. There's the butterfly, and I couldn't figure out what this little thing was. It looks like a pin or a nail. That's the that's the middle of the butterfly. <laughs> All right, 24 pieces. If you love florals and you love die cutting, you got to get Daffodil Daydream. Um, so here we go. We're gonna um, layer up these pieces. I'm gonna pull out my amazing silicone craft mat where would I be without it and this is an old sponge that was originally a circle you can use any kind of sponge and I'm gonna take my Tombow multi-purpose glue butterfly body oh what was that squiggly one though Lynn that looks like a looks like a little flower okay there's my my glue I love to thin it out like this. This I, I think Connie Stewart was the first one that I saw do this and I thought, oh, brilliant. Okay, I'm gonna start with my the middle piece. I don't know my I don't know my flower parts, girls. And I'm just gonna add some adhesive all the way down. Oh, did I put it? I put it on the wrong side. Boo! Okay, well, my flower on this one is going to go in the different direction. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm talking too much. Okay. And then <laughs> I'm going to snip off. I'm going to do it at an angle. And it, Lynn had hers flowing down over the vanilla layer, and I like that too. So. There's that, and then the next one is a leaf, a leaf, I guess you call it, part of the flower. Stem, thank you, thank you, Janice. Oh, I did it, no, I didn't. I thought, did I do it again? Okay. Oh. Yeah. 
give it a second. Trim off that piece. One more. So this just makes, there's enough adhesive on there that works like a charm. The only thing you kind of have to be careful of is, do you see how I kind of moved my, I moved it off of the, I've, I haven't paid attention and I'm, I'm gluing up all over, so I don't want all of that to get in there. So I moved my little piece off of the silicone mat. Oh, did I get enough on there? I don't think I did. And then set that to the side. Now we're gonna bring in the pieces for the top of the flower. Oh, thanks, Lynn. You think it's part of the flower, but yeah, I'm not sure if it goes on the daffodil or not. Okay, thank you for checking. Okay, we've got these two pieces, very vanilla. And then these are the detail pieces that are petal pink. Here's the top of the flower. Very vanilla. And I'm gonna put a little bit more glue. A little goes a long way. Oh my goodness. Bring in my petal pink. And this get it's layered right on top. And I'm just gonna set that there while it dries. And then these just layer beautifully on there and just bring it to life, I think. And it is kind of like a little puzzle, so you kind of have to, it's not hard. You just kind of fiddle with it. You'll see, it sits on there just, let's see, nope, that's not it. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Fits on there perfectly. Set that to the side. One more. We're almost done, girls. Right. Who is ready for spring? I am. Although we should not complain. And I'm sorry, my friend Kathy, who lives in North Dakota. <laughs> oh my goodness. Kathy, if you're watching, do you get a spring? Is it, when does spring hit? Like for us, we start to see, I think the crocuses are usually, crocus flowers are usually the first ones to pop up. And that's usually, I think around March. Depends, I guess, on the weather. Okay, taking another little dab of Tombow glue and I'm just gonna layer it. And then I'm gonna take another dimensional. Where would I be without my dimensionals? And it's gonna go on the back of the middle piece of the flower. May for you all. Well, I'm glad you get one. I love spring. All right, then this piece, this ador adorable little daffodil, and traditionally, you all, like in my growing up, we had daffodils, but you, um, you know, I always thought daffodils were just uh, in, um, you know, the yellow tones, but daffodils come in all sorts of colors. And I think I'm just going to glue this down. And this is one of them. Oh my goodness. Kathy Snow on Memorial Day. Wow. Well, that's one thing here in St. Louis I don't think we can say. And this little piece is still, I'm gonna put a little, little dotted. Mm. Okay. Now the next piece, I oh, I wanted to show you the thinking of you that I used. This die is from, this is from a set that is in the January through June um, mini catalog. 
This is from Bouquet of Love. It's the one that has the hybrid um, embossing folder. It's very cool. I, I will maybe next week do a card or show you demonstrate it, but this die is an amazing label die that you can use for all sorts of skinny little messages. So it was perfect for thinking of you. So that's, I wanted you to see that. And then, where's my sample? Okay. I'm gonna put it on the, uh, the label, thinking of you, which is, I used uh, Flirty Flamingo. And I like to, I have this thing, if it's a long skinny thing like this, I always use three, because I don't like it to, um, like, I like it to stay up and not, what's the word? Um, and not, you know, get a valley in it, like especially if it goes to the mail. Okay, the last thing, this is our ribbon that is, um, this is pale papaya and so good. It's so nice to, let's see, it's called the open weave ribbon. This makes great bows. It's just the texture of it is awesome to tie bows with, so easy. I'm gonna bring in a glue dot. And it's not what the Okay, I'm gonna put it right over that little extra dab of do of, of the glue that was right there, putting those stems together. All right, I'm almost done, girls. Isn't that sweet? Oh, okay. Where, okay, where is it? Where's my little, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna put, <laughs> thank you thanks for the thumbs up so now this one gets glue on the bottom or as adhesive I would say and I'm going to give it a little extra because it's a moving card that goes right in the middle then I'm going to take my three and three fourths by five oh, this has a little bitty extra do you see that something something there I gotta snip that off this gets layered onto the flirty flamingo. Now, the thinking of you card, I am thinking I could use that stamp. Where would I be without a friend like you? But I think and originally when I was do, thinking, thinking of the thinking of you, I thought I, this would be a great card to write a sweet little note in. So I'm not gonna stamp anything on the uh, inside, but it's ready to glue down. And then one more thing. These are our new polished dots. They're on page 23. Oh, and they don't show up very pretty. Um, there they go. 23 of the mini catalog. I think they're in with the Crane of Fortune. Um, and you can see these are clear. These are called polished. They have a different shape to them. And this has, I think, like a petal pink a tone to it. So I'm just going to take three of them. If you're just starting out, you know, like with stamping, or if you don't have a lot of supplies, get yourself like one pack of basic, like either the basic rhinestones, or these are perfect, like this is perfect because they're clear and they have a pink tone, but um, just get yourself one pack of embellishments and then you'll just be amazed at like how it dresses up your cards. Don't need a lot. Like you've heard me say, I like to um, just put, and that's kind of uneven, put, uh, you know, you put an odd number on there. So we're putting three on there, but polished, um, polished dots, so sweet. And, um, they would go with so many things. So, and I bet, I'm wondering if you could take like your Stampin' Blend and color over them. So page 23 of the January through June catalog. And there you have it. So we've got one going in one direction, one going in the other direction. And then let me pull in my inspiration from Miss Lynn. So, there you go, hold on one second. Let me know which one you like the most. I always am interested in hearing, do you like the little otter card 
or do you like the um, this beautiful daffodil card? I like both of them, but mm, I, you know, I've told you this, I'm, I am partial to florals, so hold on. Thanks everyone. Oh, it's eight o'clock. I talked a lot. I told you I would. Thank you, Jill. All right, if you have any questions, whether it's about placing an order, you can always go online, and I didn't say that again tonight. Ugh. The code that you saw that is, was on my grid paper, D77DPZJG, that's the host code. If you're placing an order that, it's, that is $149.99 or less, and you'd like to help me out, please use that host code. Um, and you can go to my website or you can always contact me and I will be happy to place the order for you. You don't have to, if ordering online is not your thing, I am happy to place the order for you and it can be sent directly to your home. So um, yeah, any questions, um, uh, just send me, a, send me a message, give me a little shout out. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Um, keep stamping. God bless. Bye-bye.